Hi everyone, I'm Sarah O'Connell. The Edinburgh Festival Fringe is a chance to discover the stars of tomorrow. Well, if you happen to wander into the planetarium by accident. But there's also some amazing comedians there too. I've assembled over 20 must-see acts to tell you what they've got in store for you this August. And you know they'll be amazing too because they had the excellent sense to come on the Sarah O'Connell Show. So, without further ado... Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Hi, I'm Suze Kempner and welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm just in my garden having a cuppa. Uh, I am about to start my Edinburgh run of Y2K Woman, a show about being about to turn 15 as the clock counted down on December 31st, 1999, worrying that the world was about to end with the millennium bug, but also being so excited about the future and feeling exactly the same now, 23 years later, although uh, back then I loved Tony Blair and I don't anymore. I'd love to see you there. It's got music, it's got comedy, it's got references to showgirls, and it's on at Underbelly Bristol Square, 2nd to the 27th of August, 3.45 p.m. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ron Placone and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And I want to tell you about my friend's show, Balding is Punk Rock. My show is a survival guide. How music, movies, my wife, cats, food help me navigate the crazy capitalist ruckus of the contemporary United States of America, which is where I live. We cover a lot of ground in my show. I tell you about the first time I got high with my mom. I talk about recently becoming an uncle. I actually think it's gonna be a pretty easy gig. <laughs> you know why I think it's gonna be easy? Because there's no books about it. <laughs> like what to expect when your sibling is expecting. <laughs> I talk about how both my grandfathers died on the same day. True story. We talk about climate change. Of course, we talk about the political scene in the United States. Why the band Jethro Tull started using the flute. If you play guitar, it adds years to your life. Yeah. Unless you're like really, really good at it, then it cuts it way short. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, I will tell you why balding is in fact punk rock. I'll be at 32 Below in the Little Cellar Room, August 16th through 27th at 4 p.m. daily. That's 32 Below, Little Cellar, August 16th through 27th daily. More information can be found at my website, ronplacone.com. See you soon, Edinburgh. Hi, I'm Dominique Salerno, and this is The Sarah O'Connell Show. The show I'm bringing to the Edinburgh Fringe is called The Bach Show, and it's a comedy piece where I perform 25 characters inside of this box. I never leave this cupboard, and every time the doors open, we jump into a completely new reality with completely new characters, some of which include a drunk couple mid-fight in Las Vegas, uh, an international spy, the entire Greek army inside of the Trojan horse, and more. It is wacky, it's physical, it's at times clever, I hope, ridiculous, dark in moments, and hopefully a really good time. The New York Times called it the most purely delicious production. So if you're hungry for something tasty, come get a bite of the box show. We're gonna be performing at the cellar at the Pleasance Courtyard every day from August 2nd until 27th, except for August 16th and the time of the show is 3 p.m. aka 1500 and yeah plenty of opportunities for you to come see some weird sketch comedy uh, i hope you can make it down to check it out some people call it a night of snl but with one person inside of a small box so that's about as weird as it truly is hope to see you there hi i'm gerard noir and welcome to the sarah o'connell show Gerard Noir is a brand new comic opera, but not like anything you've seen before. Gerard Noir is like the love child of a three-way between James Bond, South Park, and opera. But make it gay. Yes! yes! 
Every episode is structured like an old school Batman and Robin superhero spy TV show where our sexy hero, Gerard Noir, saves the day over and over again, all the while singing orgasmically beautiful music. Ah, 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 Excuse me. Ah, ah, come on. Ah. Gerard Noir is the world's sexiest spy. Obviously, played by me. And I save the day not so much using this head as this one. So come see this hottie and our entire sexy cast sing our butts off at this year's Fringe, playing every night at 2155 at the Space UK Triplex Big. We open August 4th. You're gonna love Gerard, Gerard Noir. Noir. Hey, you're watching The Sarah O'Connell Show, and it's your old pal Mitch Ben. My show this year is called The Point. It's on every day, 4 p.m. at the Underbelly Bristow Square. Here's a brief taste. We will begin with Aristophanes and Plato. Now, obviously, these men were not the first to do comedy. For centuries, people have been joking around, but they were pretty much the first to bother writing it down. Believe you me, that you will see when our history is written in many ways on many days. Comedy Save Britain Why are all comedians lefties? Why are they all a bunch of communists? Why are all comedians lefties? Why doesn't right-wing comedy exist? Maybe you're just wondering why you came in here just now Well, that's the point Cause I'm a jester, a humor tester Every comedian's ancestor Cracking jokes and having fun Hi, I'm Liz Guterbach and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I am making my Edinburgh Fringe debut with my stand-up comedy show, Geriatric Millennial. Oh, you don't know what a geriatric millennial is? That's fine. I'm a geriatric millennial. Geriatric millennials are anyone born between 1981 and 1985. We're like a cute little micro generation. So cute. Love it. People love to hate millennials. Oh my God, they love it. They love to hate us. Like boomers especially hate us. Oh boy, they hate us. We have too many feelings and not enough property. Ew. Basically, I would love you to come see Geriatric Millennial. It's a show for anyone who is cool with women getting older, with silly voices, reality TV, and sincerity. Not too much sincerity for a British audience, don't worry. I'm going to be on at the Pleasant's Courtyard in the cellar. Yes, a dank, dark room for me to light up every day. Can't wait. Um, I'm going to be on at the cellar every day in August from the 2nd to the 27th. I won't be on on the 14th or the 21st. Those are my days off. So if you come to the cellar on those days, it's going to be especially dark. So like, don't come on the 14th or the, or the 21st. Um, any other day, please come. I would love to have you there. Look. We're gonna have some fun, but you're gonna have even more fun right now when you watch the rest of Sarah's show. Thank you so much for having me on, Sarah, and I hope you enjoy the show. Hi. Hello, my name is Tom. Hi, I'm Joe. Uh, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Woo! Yeah, we are my last two brain cells. Yes, uh, our show heading up to Edinburgh this year is about us, the last two brain cells, in the head of a guy called Gary Kane. Uh, now you, the audience, are honorary hormones coming with us on a tour of the brain for the first time ever. Although some things don't go exactly to plan, and uh, we need to save Gary. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Uh, you can expect chaos, you can expect wholesome vibes, you can expect uh, sketch, comedy, clowning. Wholesome vibes? You can, yeah, uh, throwing me off. Um, um, yeah, if, 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 you like, if you like The Office, if you like Tim Robinson, Auntie Donna, uh, come through to us because um, Auntie Donna, um, Aid Edmondson, and Rick Mayo, wholesome vibes. Did we say that? Lots of audience interaction Lots as of well. Wholesome vibes. Um, yeah. Okay. Lots of audience interaction. Uh, the good kind. Um, oh yeah! Don't promise. be scared. Don't be scared because there's a lot of wholesome vibes. Yeah. My idea. We're on at the Gilded Balloon. Uh, we're going to be on at 9.40 every single night, apart from the 14th. Do not come then. Go and check out Arthur's Seat or something like that. Um, or another show. Or another show. Support the Fringe. But come see us. Um, not on the 14th. Not on the 14th, though. <laughs> we're on two for one. We've got three previews, um, and we've got a five-star review, so we are worth seeing. Like Abba said, 
take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Thank you, uh, Sarah, for having us. Um, we hope to see you guys there. Hi, I'm Helena Collins O'Connor and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. So um, our show is called Auto Engrain, a one woman show, and it's about Kate. Kate is a botanist who is going back into therapy. Into therapy for her third attempt. Kate goes through and relives every experience from speed dating, red flags, um, her experiences in masturbation, female pleasure, toxicity, relationships, and it does tend to take a much darker turn. Dog toy. What to expect? She kind of goes on this journey with the audience and the therapist, and she kind of loses track sometimes along the way, creates these very much embellished farcical characters who offer everything about science. And um, she, she really likes talking about um, Love Island a bit too much. Oh, and I forgot to mention, she's completely Irish, so, you know, be ready for that. People should come see it because it's a roller coaster. So Kate goes from being extremely funny sometimes and witty to scientifically analysing situations to a roller coaster of um, really dark, deadpan humour to in a place actually much darker, which will leave the audience quite honestly raw. And the idea of the show is to raise awareness on toxicity and especially coercive um, control. It's a semi autobiographical show, which is highly embellished. I think it's something that people can really relate to as a performance and I believe a character like Kate is a testament to society. Auto Engrain is playing at the Hill Street Theatre from the 14th to the 27th of August every night at 10pm. We're also doing three live stream performances on the 14th, the 22nd and 27th of August so if you haven't been able to get down to Edinburgh don't fret you can still watch the show from the comfort of your sofa. Hi, I'm Sid Singh, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show, coming at you live from a green room in Barcelona. I just landed from an airplane, and I probably should have showered before I did this, but I'm running out of time because it's been a crazy tour. But I'm <laughs> so grateful that I actually got the chance to do this uh, because this August, every day at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, for 4.15 at Cabaret Voltaire, I will be doing my show, Table for One. Uh, it's the story of how I got to help beat Donald Trump and then Joe Biden at the Supreme Court. Seriously, my comedy shows helped raise money for the Center for Gender and Refugee Studies, and then they went on to beat them in court because they're kind of an awesome organization. And in a world that is hating refugees more and more uh, and using your tax dollars to do it, I thought, let's write a show where we can actually kind of fight back, uh, but also laugh because it's still a comedy show and I want to be funny about it. And that's why this show is about how I got to do all of those things. And the reality is... It all kind of started by accident. Uh, so I kind of get into all the crazy things that needed to happen for me to become a half comedian, half human rights volunteer. Uh, it involves me moving to New York. It involves me becoming homeless. It involves me almost learning Spanish, which is a key part of the story. It involves my law school dean um, not being great at his job, but he was a guy who would hand you a business card that said law school dean, law school professor, street photographer. Uh, and so we talk about how he helped me get involved into something uh, that he otherwise would never have helped with. Because um, he did it by accident, too. So it's kind of a crazy story. This, oh, I have not had a two-minute mark. Oh, my God, I have, like, 20 seconds. So I can do anything I want. I hope I've sold you on the show. It's kind of like a, I mean, the reality is it's kind of just like a live-action John Oliver episode or Hassan Minaj or Nish Kumar. But if you threw a bread roll at me, I'd probably eat it. Um, 10 seconds. Uh, Sarah, oh, my God. Uh... Well, um, how, how was your day? My day's been really good, thanks, Sid. I've just released another episode of my show, and speaking of which, here's some more of it. Hi, I'm Joe Janes. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm here to tell you about a play called Macbeth by the Sea that's going to be at the Space UK, uh, the Space on the Mile, venue 39. Uh, Macbeth by the Sea is a comedy. It is a uh, speculative uh, fan fiction about what happens to Macbeth and Lady Macbeth uh, during their play. Uh, we thought, hey, maybe, maybe when things start going really nutty, they might want to try to get a weekend getaway in and try to get their heads on straight. And so this is what this is all about. It's, uh, do you need to be familiar with Macbeth to see the play? No, no, you know, no, we, uh, we do a, a little 
previously on Recap. My cats love it. If there's any endorsement, it's the cats really enjoy the play. Uh, if you haven't seen Macbeth before or not that familiar with it, uh, do come see the play anyway. Well, like I said, we'll get you caught up to speed and hopefully ruin Macbeth for you. Uh, we love Macbeth. Macbeth is one of my favorite plays. It's sinister, it's dark, it's a tragedy, and uh, makes it ripe for comedy. It makes it a lot of fun for comedy. Uh, we uh, are all teachers. We teach theater at Columbia College in Chicago, uh, most of us. We are at the Space on the Mile, venue 39, space 2. Our play is at, or five minutes after four, uh, every day, uh, except on August 13th. We're just there from the 4th to the 19th. Please come see our show. It's a blast. It's physical. It's fun. It's wacky. It's Shakespearean silliness. It's, uh, it's a hoot. Come see our play. It's a hoot. Hi, I'm Benjamin Alborough, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. This is Monopoly, Horses and Ponies edition. I hate Monopoly. It's the worst game in the entire world. I'm going to do it for a month. My show, Absolute Monopoly, is on every day at 5.50pm in Assembly George Square, The Crate. What is Absolute Monopoly? Absolute Monopoly is a game show for the modern age. We attempt to fix all the problems with Monopoly. Problems like it's boring. Problems like there's too many arguments. How do we fix those? The audience play the game. The audience physically become the game board. The audience are the judge, jury and executioner for every arbitrary rule and decision integrated over the course of the one hour show. You will leave feeling like you're a changed person for better and for worse. Hi, viewers of The Sarah O'Connell Show. Benjamin Aubrey here. I just want to say that little introduction was a little bit intense, wasn't it? I just wanted to pause for a moment and say that um, I stand by everything that I said and the way that I said it. I just kind of wanted to sit down for a bit. A closer view of this original 1980 uh, poster of Teen Wolf 2 starring Jason Bateman. He never wanted to be special, but he always expected this. This is largely unrelated to Absolute Monopoly, but as you haven't seen the show yet, you can't prove that it isn't. This is a Bitcoin hat that I bought as a joke for my housemate. Who's this? Just a little old Benjamin Albra, uh, performing the show at a different venue earlier. Uh, at a different venue, so I'm cropping off the bottom part of the, of, of the poster. But it's still me, so please do come along. It's on every day at the Edinburgh Fringe, apart from one of the days, I think the 15th, so don't come on that day. Uh, there's also a day where a group of 28 are booked. Uh, fewer than that, I'd say it was a stag night. 28, that has to be a drama class. Come on that day if you dare. I'm Benjamin Albrun. Hello! Hi. I'm Emily. I'm Maddie. I'm Robbie. And, and we're, we're Meat and, and Two Veg. Um, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. So our Fringe show is called Dirty Laundry Spin-Off. Last year we did a Fringe show called Dirty Laundry. Um, it's a sketch show loosely based on the idea of three best friends and housemates, which incidentally we are, uh, who have gone their separate ways after Edinburgh Fringe last year and got back together for a mixed bag of fun sketches, comedy songs and little shorts. <laughs> um, we, in terms of the kind of like focus of our sketches, we like to really um, put a spin on... <laughs> Modern day situations like we've got a sea shanty about Nepo babies, um, a send up of kind of like modern therapy culture. Um, yeah, and you'll, you'll have to see the rest. I don't want to give it away. Yeah, I want to give it away. It's um, fun. So, why should they come and see it? We just had the best time doing this, yeah. preparing over the last four months, and we think that will really show. And you guys hopefully will enjoy it as much as we do. Um, and I would say this is probably our most original content yeah. yet, all new stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we're really excited. Um, and we are on at Just the Tonic Mash House from the 3rd to the 13th of August at 9pm. Come and watch us. Hi, I'm Adam Evans and you're watching The Sarah O'Connell Show. Uh, I'll be taking my first ever show up to the Edinburgh Fringe this summer. It's called The Crisp Review Live. Um, it's about crisps. You'll be surprised to hear, you know, like, like this, which is ridged for my pleasure. It's about crisps, um, lockdown projects, sort of getting out of hand and sort of generally um, internet-based success or lack thereof. You can expect a documentary about crisps, you can, you can expect a factory tour about crisps, um, you can expect uh, a showcase of reviews old and new and of course most importantly free crisps for everyone who attends a show um, and they're very very good very good delicious crisps too. Uh, you can find the show at um, Paradise in the Vaults brackets the annex 
uh, between August 14th and 27th at 17.50 to 18.35 p.m. And I, I'd love to see you there. Please come along because I've, I've, got, I've got a lot of crisps um, and I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to take them home if, if, if you don't come to the show and, and eat them. Oh, hi there. I'm Ollie Painter from Kitsch Theatre and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. This year, Kitsch Theatre are taken to the fringe, returning with their signature piece, Attachment The Leech Show, which follows three young, ambitious actors as they try to put on a rom-com play to impress a very important theatre critic who just so happens to be a man-sized leech set in the audience called Bob. A blood-sucking theatre critic, you might say, if you understood the metaphor. Uh, be sure to expect lots of big laughs, big leeches, and of course, large amounts of very expensive stage blood. If you want to come and see our show, we're on at Greenside, venue number 236 in Infirmary Street in the Ivy Studio at 5.15pm from the 14th to the 19th of August, obviously. And if you don't believe me, then why not believe some of our five-star audience reviews from last year, saying things like 10 out of 10 writing, our faces hurt from laughing, or indeed, if you come to the fringe and you don't see this show, you've wasted your time. That's been me, Ollie Painter, from Kitsch Theatre. Please, please, please come and see our show. We need money. We're broke. Accommodation costs this year are insane. So... Hi, we're Frederick Soddity, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Our show is called This Isn't Working. Uh, it follows a lonely job seeker as he tries to find employment. Uh, he, he stumbles upon a job centre, uh, which has three job coaches uh, who put him through a challenging series of trial shifts uh, to help him find that job that means something to him. On a number of fast school trial shifts, uh, Sandy uh, is Chancellor of the Exchequer. He goes to try and track down the head of MI5. He tries to save a ship's captain um, who's in deep water, and he organises a Dragon's Den panel show. This Isn't Working is a narrative sketch show full of visual humour, wordplay, and absurdism. You can see This Isn't Working at uh, Greenside Infirmary Street during the Edinburgh Fringe Festival from the 4th to the 19th of August. The only day we're not performing is the 13th of August and we're on at 11.05pm. Don't be late. I would love to see you there. So would I. Yes, so would I. What a nice coincidence. Thank, Thank you for having, having us on, on, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you I a wish happy you a fringe. fringe. Hi, I'm Nick Kirk, and you're watching The Sarah O'Connell Show. This August, if you're up in Edinburgh for The Fringe, why not come and see Sofa So Funny So Fringe? It features me, a man who, yeah, admittedly has come dressed as both the snooker table and the cue ball. But even better than that, it features New Jersey's finest export, yes, even better than The Sopranos, uh, the incredible Leslie Gold, my comedy pal. But even, even better than that, each show, you'll have a brand new guest comedian taken from some of the best and the brightest from the current stand-up scene. So yeah, come along to Sofa So Funny So Fringe. And there might even be the odd surprise or two. Yeah, maybe not you, it's a little bit weird. Sofa So Funny So Fringe, playing as part of the PBH Free Fringe every day from the 5th to the 15th and the 17th to the 27th of August at 7.30 at Kildakin. See you there. Hello, my name's Don Biswell, stand-up comedian, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'll be taking my brand new show, The Revolution Will Be Disorganised, to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It will take a look at the political hot topics of the day, from the cost of living crisis to conspiracy theories. And I called it The Revolution Will Be Disorganised because that's what it would be if I chose to lead one. Because I have dyspraxia which makes me extremely disorganised. While I'll be the worst person to lead a revolution, what I can deliver is an hour of gag heavy political comedy. Even if you disagree with the politics, come for the jokes. The Revolution Will Be Disorganised from the 2nd to the 27th of August except the 14th Edinburgh Fringe Festival at the Patter House 9.40pm. Thank you. Hi, I'm Louise Atkinson and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. So I'm doing my debut comedy hour this year in the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It's called Mates and shockingly, it's about my mates. 
It's about friendships, how we make friendships, the type of friends we have, and also looking a little bit at friendship breakups and how we don't talk about them, but they're pretty hilarious when you think about it. Um, also cover some other topics as well. It's not just friendships. We've got stuff in there like what's the best kebab filling, um, a night out in Watford, um, a chocolate hobnob being the most superior type of biscuit. So I would say it's a pretty highbrow show. So come switched on, you know. I've been asked to give a reason as to why you should come to my show. Um, and I could tell you something like it's about friendships and you can come on a friend date with one of your best friends in the entire world and the two of you can laugh along together and just have a really great time. Uh, but the real reason you should come to my show is because I need to hoof some tickets. Okay, I need to make some money. I've got my eyes on a PS5 and it's on offer at the minute on Argos and I don't want to miss that chance. So if you could get buy in, that'd be grand. Ta. Also, I get to have the great privilege of performing at a very iconic venue, which is the Teviot with the Gilded Balloon, which is the one that looks like a massive castle, which means I get to feel like a really evil, amazing wizard for a month, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm on there at 20 past three every day from the 2nd to the 27th of August. I'm not doing the 28th because that's my birthday and I intend to be <gasps> drunk and eating fried chicken for the whole thing, which might be a good show, but I think it'd be a very different show to this one. And we're concentrating on this one right now. Uh, but 2nd to the 27th, I'm there and I'm all yours. So buy your tickets and come along. Should be a laugh. Oh, and please feel free to bring biscuits. For me, not for you. My name is Nathan Darcy Roberts and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm here promoting my show, Present Tense, which I'm going to be performing at 4.20 every day between the 2nd and 27th of August, uh, with the exception of the 14th. Uh, so yeah, 4.20 every day. If that time has a specific meaning to you, then please come. The show is... 100% for you. If it has no meaning to you at all, then please come as well and you will find out why that time has a very specific and special meaning to certain people. Uh, basically, the show is about trying to be present, but how try and trying to be present, it makes me insanely tense. You know, when you're trying to escape the past, but your mind keeps dragging you back there. I mean, it's an, it's an hour of stand-up comedy rooted in storytelling, personal storytelling and uh, observational comedy. I mean, at the, at the core of the show, it's kind of like an anti-dead dad show. That's how I pitch it, you know, because there's, there's a common thing in Edinburgh where comedians will do what's called a dead dad show, or they'll come on and be like, me and my dad had a bad relationship, but then he died. And that's sad. Where my approach is more, me and my dad have a bad relationship, but he's still breathing and it's a problem. So come and find out why. Uh, there's an incredible story of finding out that he's in prison secondhand through a internationally famous celebrity. It's insane. Uh, a little background on me, like I've written for Holbury Histories, The Emily Attack Show, uh, The Now Show, uh, The Lenny Henry Show, Famalam. So if you like those shows, come along. Uh, if you don't like those shows or know those shows, then again, it doesn't matter. The show is for everyone. It's literally for everyone except for anyone that I do mention by name in the show. If, if, if you feel you are gonna be mentioned by name in the show, then don't, don't come, don't, you, the, you're the ones who can't come. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a great daddy issue show. If you've got daddy issues yourself, then say that at the box office and you will get uh, 4p off your ticket price and a, uh, a pitying glance. And that, that pitying glance is priceless. Uh, so yeah, so present tense, 420, Gilded Balloon TV every day between August 2nd and August 27th. I'll see you there. Hi, uh, my name is Samir Katz, and you're watching the Sarah O'Connell Show. My friend show is called uh, Samir Katz Loves a Lie. And while it may sound it's like a, it's about how Jay and I am with relationship, it's actually about how I'm also Jay with friendships and family. It's a comedy. It's on at 32 Below every day from 1 to 2. Hi, I'm David McCulloch from Gamma Ray Theatre, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm here to tell you about a show that I've written that is finally making its way to the Edinburgh Festival Fringe this summer. What's the show about? Well, on the surface, a hilarious and ridiculous farcical comedy that is sure to have you laughing out loud and rolling down the aisles. But underneath, there's something more. Something darker. A stark and serious warning about the dangers and the rise of modern day fascism in our current socio-political climate. In a show that holds a mirror to our current landscape, in the fear and uncertainty that we live in, and tries to dissect how we got ourselves into this mess. All that and much, much more in... Aeop Hitler! 
What the hell is Aop Hitler? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, Aop Hitler is the hilarious new satirical comedy that tells the untold true story of what really happened at the end of World War II, where Hitler and his cronies actually escaped Germany after losing the war and went into hiding in the last place anyone would think to look. Whoop! Yorkshire! where they swap the Hugo Boss for flat caps and Wellington boots and adopt strong northern accents and then meet down the pub to plan their epic comeback. Now, if the ridiculous title and the somewhat laughable premise hasn't convinced you to buy tickets, well, Aop Hitler has it all. Laughs, hilarious set pieces, surprisingly thoughtful and moving moments. Yes, really. Action, romance, passion and West End quality song and dance numbers. Don't believe me? Well, I guess you'll have to come watch us to find out. And luckily, we are on across the Edinburgh Fringe at the Space at Surgeons Hall from the 4th to the 26th of August at 10.15pm. And I must advise you, this show does come with a strong alcohol advisory warning in that we strongly advise the consumption of alcohol before, during and definitely after this play. Prost! Hey, my name is Alex Kitson and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Um, my show this year is a, it's a 45 minute version of my award nominated uh, Brighton Fringe show. It got nominated for best uh, stand up comedy show. And um, it's a yeah, 45 minute version. Just loads and loads and loads of great jokes. I've won uh, awards before uh, for um, best joke at the Bath Comedy Festival. And it's just all of those sit together. So it should be 45 minutes of, of really, really good solid stand up. If you're really nerdy about your stand up and um, you, re you really like um, really good proper standard that yeah people those sorts of people usually really like my stuff yeah if you're into you know your john malays mark norman sean mclaughlin's like those sorts of people uh, I, I think you'll really um enjoy my stuff i'm on at the mash house every single day at uh 7 30 for 45 minutes uh it's a free or you can pay five pounds to reserve uh, a seat if you want with a and there's a little bucket on the door love to see you there cheers many thanks to you for watching my adam refringe ultimate comedy guide 2023 if you're going to the festival, do let me know which shows you recommend. And be sure to share, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and leave lots of lovely comments. I'll see you all again soon for another episode of the Sarah O'Connell Show. Bye.